A few years ago, if you asked what is the best budget IM, everybody's answer would be the Moondrop Aria. And so has Moondrop's new take on the Aria, the Aria 2 worthy of its older brother's title, at $80. Well, let's talk about it. One of the first things you'll notice is the build quality. The IM is fully metal, and the weight of it feels high quality in the hand. For the price, the build is excellent. Moving on, the comfort and fit was great. The lightweight and thinness made these very comfortable to wear. I could wear these all day without noticing them in my ears, and I was able to get a great fit. The cable is amazing for the price. It's thick and braided while being malleable enough to be comfortable and hard to tangle. Not only that, but the cable also has an interchangeable plug design, so you can have different plugs for different situations. The stock ear tips that the Aria 2 comes with are fine in my testing, and I was able to get a good seal with them. So let's discuss the most important, the sound. The bass is well done, it has good presence and impact without disrupting the rest of the mix. Grenades and explosions had an impact without being distracting. The bass overall was tight and tasteful, but I wouldn't call it bass heavy. The treble on the IM was relaxed and not super emphasized here. Details sounded clean while not being super harsh. The mid-range was good enough. Footsteps and other sound cues were able to be heard without any problems. Overall, the tuning of the Aria 2 was safe. Nothing is going to sound too emphasized and overbearing, but to some, it might be a little bit boring. I personally find it relaxing in-game. The technical performance was decent. The imaging was good, and I was able to hear people in all all directions pretty well. It wasn't pinpoint sharp in the imaging, but having many enemies made these struggle a little bit. This applied to the soundstage. It wasn't super wide, but it wasn't extremely close. Audio felt like a few meters away, but the soundstage is not going to be out of your head. Separation here was good. I was still able to hear enemies even while gunshots and explosions were happening. Distance and high perception was decent. I could hear enemies above and below me just fine, and I was able to tell if they were close or far away. I did find it a little bit hard to identify the exact floor enemies were on. I was able to tell how far or close they were. Now, if they were extremely close or far away, then the distance perception became slightly blurry, but at least you can feel how far away they are. So in conclusion, I still think the Aria 2 is a great buy. However, I think they lost their title for the best budget IEM. There are just so many good IEMs on the market now, and the Aria 2 just did not perform extremely well in any category for audio, just decently. The Aria 2, however, does have some great features outside of audio quality, such as build and comfort. It's just that there are probably IEMs that fit people's needs better in certain aspects, like soundstage or tuning. But if you're looking for a safe IEM that is an all-rounder, then these might be a good choice. That's all I got. Peace.